go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to be taking a deeper look into Bullseye. I just got Bullseye as a six star, don't even have him as a five star. I just recently ranked him up to five and maxed his SIG out. And we're going to see why. All right, so first, let's look at his attributes at six-star rank five. All right. Let's go to the percentages here. Crit rating, crit damage rating. The crit damage rating is more important because, as you will see, all of his hits are crits. So he doesn't need a high crit rating. All right, so we've got the critical damage rating. We've got some block penetration which is also nice, all right? He's got some armor rating and block proficiency. So he's not just a pushover. He, he's a little tough. Physical resistance he's got, energy resistance. So not too bad, not too bad, okay? Even on um, offense. Now let's look at his bonuses. These synergies, we, we have been neglecting synergies for a lot of champions. And when I look at the synergies, I want to see champions that I'm likely to bring on the team that are good in their own right. Okay. So this first synergy, 5% uh, perfect block chance. The only one there would be Venom. Okay. Sentry. Um, what's his name? <laughs> why not? Why I just uh, slip his name up? Um, uh that should tell you how I feel about him. Hold on. Iron Patriot. That's it. He needs a buff. Bad. Then we've got this next one here. Now, Hawkeye has been a favorite of mine for a while. However, Kate Bishop is the Hawkeye we deserved years ago. Now, this synergy... Dialed in passive increased the duration of their associated effects by an additional 3%. All right. I don't know how good that is. But it looks like it could be useful. And she's someone who I could see myself bringing on the team. I've actually taken her to rank 5 already. All right. Now this one here. Um, bullseye, let's see, if they're knocked out, start the fight with an indefinite, non-stacking, 10% cruelty buff. Okay, so with this synergy, it's kind of like uh, Nick Fury. When he's uh, on the team, I think he does 10%, gives everybody 10% attack. And then if he's knocked out, he gives everybody 20% attack. So it looks like... If you have one of these on the team and they're knocked out, you're going to start with 10% cruelty, which is going to give you more damage. Now, who on this team would I bring? I wouldn't. So this synergy, not really useful in my opinion. And just looking at who we have a synergy here with, I'm going to go with that for this one too. Block penetration. Now, I could see, just for fun, bringing in one of these, you know, maybe Electra, and then uh, bringing in one of the Deadpools, because you have block penetration, and you'd have that cruelty. Okay? So, he might do, and, and you already know, he. well, we'll see it. He can do damage through block, okay? And then finally, we've got 
the Cyclops. And let's see if he do, if an attack doesn't critically hit a non mutant gain a non stacking fifty percent fury buff for three seconds. It will not re trigger while already active. It is not affected by ability accuracy reduction. Interesting. That could actually be useful. That could actually be useful. That's more damage. Unfortunately, neither one of these are champions I would normally bring on my team. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, those are the synergies. Let's look at his tags here. Okay, offensive burst, of course. He's a villain, so that's good when he's on those nodes where heroes don't gain power. I think it's tyranny. He's a mercenary, so I can see him and hit Monkey uh, on a team together. Thunderbolts, all right, is their organization. And in AW, they're Sturdy, Magic Thief, and Clarity, which is this new season. So I can bring him along as a Clarity attacker. That's interesting. And he was released in 2024, and he's a Saga attacker. So there are certain items that affect Saga champions. You know, um, we've got signature stones, rank up gems, all kind of other stuff. Um, he's not going to need that because I already, you know, maxed him out. But uh, that's good to know. All right. Let's look at his abilities. Now, in one of my other videos where I ranked him up, Mystery Rank Up Theater, I think it's 193. I mentioned his SIG ability, and I talked about uh, the fact that I was going to make this video here. So, Heightened Concentration. Activating a special attack passively reduces damage caused by the opponent by 99.45% for 6 seconds. The only application I was seeing there is right after I throw a special, if they throw a special three i can tank it you know obviously if it has another component that has a damage over time or a stun then yeah not a good thing but that could be useful but it's this next one that has me very interested whenever either champion is stunned or struck by a heavy attack bullseye has a 50 percent chance to purify 50% of all debuffs up to a maximum of 10 debuffs. The stun debuff from the parry mastery will not trigger this. So, you know, because that would actually be a little overpowered. If every time I parried, I I um, purged any debuffs on me, that, that'd be kind of, you know, or at least a 50% chance. Um, so the one that I'm looking at is a couple of things. The heavy attack, I can launch heavy attacks and get rid of debuffs. You know, it's going to be half the time or a little, slightly a little bit over half the time, but that's still a way to get rid of them. And not only that, but you can be stunned, like encroaching stun. You get hit with that stun, you have a 50% chance to shrug that off. Hulk on his special one. Gambit on his special one. So anytime you are stunned other than a, a parry, you have a chance to shrug it off. So he is a crazy good defender. Okay. We're hoping Kabam doesn't do something to really mess him up. But he's a crazy good defender. But I'm also looking at him on offense. Okay? Now, all hits bypass miss. Right there. Bam. I'm going to have fun against Photon. In Battlegrounds, if he doesn't get banned, which he gets banned uh, pretty regularly... 
uh, you could, he's a dual threat. If they have Photon, who also gets banned pretty regularly, uh, he could counter her as well as go on defense. Okay? All hits are criticals. You don't want to take him against Ebony Maw. Not a good look. Critical hits and personal effects can be inflicted through blocks that are not well-timed. Got it? So remember what I said about the synergies. Hitting through the block and you get more uh, damage for that, it's going to help him. All right? He's immune to precision. Why does he need precision? Or fatigue effects and gains a non-stacking cruelty buff for eight seconds when this immunity triggers. Wow. So basically, you dash back, and I'm, I'm going to test this out. You dash back and get a precision buff, but he's immune to it, so it should be a cruelty buff instead, which gives him a little bit more damage because he really doesn't need the precision. All right? When the opponent would be inflicted with a bleed effect, gain a cruelty passive. Okay, so more cruelty, more damage. Pause during special attacks as a defender. Nasty. These are also paused for three seconds each time the opponent avoids a basic attack. Wow. With the dexterity mastery. For each personal cruelty, physical resistance is increased. Wow. He's just nasty. And we haven't even gotten to some of the juicy things. Blade attacks inflict instant bleed, dealing direct damage. These are also inflicted when any attack would be avoided with the dex mastery or an evade. Wow. So now understand the instant bleeds. You're not going to have to... Those people that um, purge debuffs and everything... Doesn't matter. They're getting instant damage. There's nothing to purge. All right. Let's look at this dialed in stuff. During a special one or two, press uh, the block input after the first hit to slow down time. Oh, I didn't know that. Releasing the block input precisely when the final projectile is thrown grants a perfect release bonus. I did not know that. So that's kind of like um, Hawkeye and um, uh, Kate Bishop. I'm going to have to practice that. A perfect result in the Special 3 minigame also grants a perfect release bonus. Okay. Activating a perfect release bonus, in case you didn't know what that was, because I don't, uh, grants an indefinite dialed-in passive, increasing the potency. Oh, wow. So just more damage. It increases the potency of personal cruelty passives and re-triggers all personal cruelty passives. Failing to activate a perfect release bonus removes one dialed-in passive. Okay. As a defender, 10% chance for each cruelty passive to activate a perfect release bonus after special one or two. Uh-huh. And additionally, Special 3 always triggers a perfect release. Wow. All right. Now, this Killer Instinct. Oh, man. I don't know how many times it gets me. Gaining a bar of power grants a non-stacking Killer Instinct passive for three seconds. This will not trigger while already active. You got that? It's paused during his special attacks. And while over one bar of power or until a personal evade triggers. So you end up having to wait that out unless you have somebody like Negasonic War Teenage Warhead to counter it. While this Killer Instinct is active, he has a 100% chance to evade. So he's going to evade. Now it says incoming basic attacks. I wonder if that means you can fire your special and he won't evade it. That could be interesting. Purifying any stun debuff in the process. Got that. So you're not going to be able to parry and hit him. You parry, stun him, try to hit him. He's going to purify the stun and evade you. This evade will not trigger while blocking. 
Killer Instinct and its effects are not affected by ability accuracy reduction. When it expires as an attacker, it goes on cooldown for 12 seconds or until Bullseye strikes the opponent 10 times. Okay. When evading, Bullseye counterattacks and inflicts instant bleed. Oh, my goodness. After counterattacking as an attacker, the ability to activate special attack three, oh, whoa, is disabled for one second. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, as a defender, the chance to activate a special attack is increased for one second instead. Wow. All right. So here we go with his specials. Both special one and two. Activating special attack one or two immediately after a counterattack makes the first hit of the special attack passively unblockable. Eh. Interesting. I think I've gotten hit by that. And look at that fury it, grab it grants. For six seconds? Wow. And it's paused during the special. Intercepting the opponent with any special attack hit also grants this fury passive. What? Intercepting them with a special? Oh, heck no. I, I didn't realize he was uh, this good. Because you always see him on defense, but wow. Special attack hits landed against an invisible, phasing, or untouchable opponent. Grant no power. Okay. Okay. Looks like he's good against uh, Invisible Woman, um, Photon. Uh, who else? There's so many that phase now or go invisible or untouchable. Shuri? She goes untouchable. All right. Special one. Gain true accuracy for 15 seconds. Paused until the end of the attack. So you're going to get 15 seconds after the special is over. The final hit inflicts two additional instant bleeds. Wow. Special two. Uh, gain a non-stacking 25% impact passive. Inflict... A non-stacking 50% bleed. Oh, bleed vulnerability. So that's going to, let's see, last 30 seconds and paused. Yeah, that bleed vulnerability is going to increase the damage of the instant bleeds. The final hit inflicts a stun passive for 1.5 seconds. Wow. Okay. And inflict a non-stacking disorient passive. Reducing block proficiency. And remember, he does damage through his block, through their block. And defensive ability accuracy for 50% for 45 seconds. Wow. While this disorient is active, all personal cruelty buff uh, passives are paused. Woo. Okay. We got to play around with him for a little bit, guys. All right. So I will be right back okay i'm going in with just bullseye and i do want to test out a few things all right first thing i want to test out is the purifying of the debuff so i am running the recoil mastery so you'll see the two debuffs up there let's do a heavy okay they're still there boom there goes the um poison Let's see if I can get this uh, bleed gone. Yep, and there's the bleed gone. All right. So let's see if I can... Uh, let's do that. Yep, look at that. Woo-wee! Against the block. Look at the damage. Okay. Not bad. Let me try something else. Let me go with the, uh, we did the special one and I intercepted. So I want to intercept him with my special two. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, did y'all see that? He came out of his um, stun and I actually started attacking him late. And my auto evade got him. 
All right, we are going to go to a special uh, three. And um, test that out. And I don't know what is a good rotation for him, to be honest with you. All right, let's do it. I don't know his uh, best rotation. I'm just playing around with him right now. Oh! That was it? <laughs> okay. I was waiting for some more. Okay. Come on. Come on. It's not bad. And especially because you can hit against... Uh, you can get those crits in the block. Come on. I knew he was going to do that. Okay. Come on. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. I will be learning him. If you have any ideas of uh, his rotation, um, best way to use him, that sort of thing, let me know. Mainly, you see him on defense. But I'm looking at him as a potential offensive champion as well. So that is going to do it for the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama. Just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown. Oh.